Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Barry Chapman coming to live from Hollywood, California, home of Primetime Shopping Network. I don't want to hit the yard. I got a heck of a show. Deals are going to be made tonight that can never be made any other times. Like this right here, Wilson. And I'm, I, I mean, I got Oleg's, I got Peter Max, I got Gregory Wilhelmy, I got Michael Schofields. You name it, I got it. But like, take a look at this right there. Just got this about 12 minutes ago. It's an original watercolor by Michael Schofield. He did it in 1995. He liked it so much, wanted to do an original painting of it, but never got around to it. You know, Michael Schofield is in the Billion Dollar Arm and Hammer collection. He's in the Smithsonian. He's in the Library of Congress collection. It's called High Plains. And this is BC 3015. Now, an original Michael Schofield watercolor is usually 34, 3500. One this special, these kept since 1995, might be 4,000. I'll tell you what I'm going to do on this right now. It's an original Michael Schofield, and it's frame ready. You could go to Michael's Art Show, uh, Art or Walmart. You go a lot of places and just measure it, get a frame that will fit, pop it in. Yeah, you're talking about a $4,000 Schofield here. Watch this. I just want to see if anybody's watching me, Wilson. Because sometimes nobody's watching me. Zero, not a niche. Niet. Not today, Barry. Everybody. No, tonight, everybody's. Hey, do you see how fast Juliana turned around when I went, Niet? It's like, you're a Russian spy, aren't you? And I don't know what to do, folks. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, watch this. Watch this. $600 to open. $100 increments. And an original Michael Schofield watercolor. 3015, BC 3015, just to see if anybody's watching me. That's worth four or 4,500. This is the Michael Schofield. He's in the billion dollar Arm and Hammer Museum collection. It's signed on the front, it's signed on the back, and he even tells you look how long ago he did this, Wilson. 1995, when I was a young man. All right. I was a younger man. And I just wanted to see if anybody's watching me. That is so far below what I normally would put it up for. This would normally be on a, I, I would not have ever opened this for less than $1,250. I got it at $600 just to see if anybody out there on Direct TV, on Dish, on any of them. We're not on Dish yet, are we? Uh, anybody on Direct TV wants a Michael Schofield, not for four thousand, but for six hundred. It's called High Plains. Now, if I could get a second piece from him called Drifter, then we could have High Plains. No, I, I'm gonna move this over. Here's a problem I have, Wilson. I don't know how to handle it. Maybe you could help me, Juliana or, or Patty. The other day. I got up. I take my two dogs, Ginger, my tan and black, golden black, tan and black hound dog, and pretty boy Floyd, my seven-year-old Chawini that I rescued after a coyote attacked it. And it's been going well for seven months now, Giuliani. You know what happens? I get up the other day, Wilson, pretty boy Floyd is texting in Russian on my phone. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Next to Pretty Boy Floyd was Rosanna Stone Learn Russian Quick. I don't know who Pretty Boy Floyd was trying to get a hold of. My dog's fluent in Russian now. Here's one of the most expensive paintings I have here. This is from the master himself, Oleg Javetin. He was born in Uzbekistan. He uh, was seen at the time Uzbekistan was a, a Soviet satellite country, uh, way, way far the end of the Soviet Union. 
And at the age of three or four, they saw him paint. And they said, this kid is so talented. Uh, what they did was they rushed him through Soviet art schools for the, the child prodigies. When he was 16 or 17, he got his first four-year degree from the college in Uzbekistan. Then when he was 18 or 19, he started at the Surikov. The Surikov is possibly the premier art college on the planet. I don't want to get even mad. I had to say that for Floyd. Floyd is translating my show to his, no, I have no idea. You don't believe me. All right, hang on, folks. Just so they know who I'm talking about here, I got enough problems without somebody saying I'm talking about this is pretty boy Floyd. Yes, isn't that a cute dog? Patty, I caught him texting in Russian. Aww. Yeah, and some of it I didn't like. It's like, yet to bury. No, I don't know. I can't even go into the rest of it. But anyway, this painting right here is possibly one of the greatest Oleg Javetin original oil on canvas I have ever owned in 10 years, 20 years. Everything from the strands of the hair, you know, the silver, the sculpted in there. All of these were techniques he learned at the Surikov in Moscow. It is called the uh, Russian Academy of Art, Moscow-Surikov, named after... Um, Sergei uh, Ivanov, no, a, I'm sorry, uh, what's the guy's name? Something Ivanov Sur, uh, Surikov, and Vasily, that's it, Vasily Ivanov Surikov, one of the greatest Russian artists of all time. He's been dead a long time. You have anything to do with that, Patty? Nothing. Nothing, okay. This is a huge painting. It's 48 by 36. It is oil on canvas. Everything about this is perfect. He got his master's degree because he found a way to mix every geometrical shape you can think of into a Russian Romanticism painting. Look at the wheat coming up here. There are symbolisms. Who is this lady thinking about? Who are these two other men that she might have known or she's dating right now and he's can be good or bad. I don't know, but this is what Oleg does. He worked for Collector's Editions. When his contract was up, he quickly sold 10 originals for 100,000 each. And we're talking 30 years ago. Collector's Editions kept lying to me. Here's the first time I ever met Oleg. December 4th, 2006. He was living 70 miles from me, even though Collector's Edition said he's in Moscow because they didn't want me to get his, their artist, which I got. And this is one of the all-time greats. Uh, 12,500, Matt, on this. This is BC Love Story. What is the item number on love story? Here is an Oleg. The nice customer who bought this sent me a picture of it hanging in his house. This was 1997 when it was on our brokerage asking price 68800 That was 14, 13 years ago. Here is, look at this. This was 11 years ago, 10 years ago. Oleg, untitled, asking price 90000 retail 104000 Oleg is a cat's meow. This guy knows art. He knows Russian Romanticism to get a master's degree from the Surikov. He also has dual citizenship. He's got a Russian passport and an American passport. 
They want him to go back to the Surikov for their, it's like 2027 or 2026 or 2028 to be a speaker at the commencement. But he's scared to go back. He's that time I go back, I could not get home because of COVID. I said, well, that's pretty much over. Yes, COVID over, but when Ole go Russia again, what come up? I said, I don't know, Ole. I think it'd be an honor. So anyway, we got this up for 9,500. Ah, no, it's up for 12.5. Ah, what did I do, Matt? Oh, no, Barry rules. Now I got to lower it to 9,500, but that's, I'm in trouble now. Why'd you do that, Patty? Why, why, why? I did it. All right, I'm sorry. 9,500. This is one of the largest Oleg's I have. Oleg is one of the most talented painters. This is what the Surikov looks like. And I just want to show you, it is in Moscow. Some of the most expensive artists on the planet studied there. Here's what a class looks like. Just one of many. That's inside the Surikov. Today, I am believe, and I could have changed, but only one American has ever graduated from the Surikov. Besides having to be fluent in Russia, you've got to be able to do a lot of stuff. So I want to show you a couple more, and I'll work you deals tonight. Tell you what, I got a special price on this one, Patty because I like this one too much. I'm just going to hold it right here. 2956. The Admirer. This is 30 by 24. Or 29. What does it say on the screen? The Admirer. 30 by 24. This using only geometrical shapes is one of the greatest paintings. And, you know, what, what does it say the retail is, 85000 Yeah. Yeah. You'd be lucky at eighty five. But I'm going to give this, I'm going to sell this so affordable, you can't believe it. And I want to show you one more. My favorite of favorites of favorites. And call in, make me some offers. I want to do some business. This is a painting. And Patty, Hor I know Jack heard it because we were with Jack. I have a picture, and I'm going to show you this picture. Patty, can you grab? This one you like. Yeah. Golden wheat. Now, Oleg was standing on the set. I have a picture on my Facebook page of, oh, that's so cute. My little pretty boy Floyd. I named him pretty boy Floyd because I rushed him to the vet and I got his sex wrong. I was in a hurry. The vet said, what is it? Is it a male or female? I think it's a female. And then about 10 minutes later when she's examining him, says, what's that? And they go, okay, I'm woke. I'm sorry. And so I named him. I didn't want to do it again, so I named him Pretty Boy Floyd. All right, hang on. I'm going to find this, find it, find it, find it. I'm not going to find it that way. Let's go back to all the pictures. Give me one second. It's on my Facebook page right now. All right, hang on. Hang on. Take a look at this. This is one of the greatest Oleg's I have ever seen, Oleg paint. And I know his work. Uh, I sold one of his paintings on TV for 21700 Uh You know, but I'm going to give, come here, come here. Where did it go? Where did it go? How can I lose it that easy, Wilson? 
All right, message. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to find it right now. Nope. The point is, Jack was standing right here. This is Oleg explaining this painting on the set. Ashley was on one side. There's another picture with Ashley, Jack, and me, and Oleg. And Oleg was talking about this piece. And I'm going to make it a little bigger. You can see Oleg explaining the piece. And Oleg told Jack, Ashley, and me, he says, Barry, you something's way too cheap. He says, Barry, in five or eight years, this painting going to be at least a half a million dollars. And I should have left it at that. Patty was here. I said, uh-oh, really? In five to eight years? Yes, Barry, half a million. Easy. I said, uh-oh, are you going to die? And then he got mad. Did you see that reaction? You take it back. You take it back. No, I'm not going to die. You don't understand. And this is what Oleg did. He, he, he uh, Wilson, you don't understand Russian art market like me. I said, I, I can get it. It's crazy cheap right now. Crazy cheap. Best I could ever do. So this was one of Oleg's favorites. At 12,500, Matt, it would be a steal. Make me some offers. This is as good as it gets. You have the texture work that they taught him at the Surikov. You have every strand of hair, all of these molds. He said, this is not easy. Everybody looks at that. Oleg always tells me, everybody look at that, think it's easy. It's not. You have to make putty. You have to be perfect. And so anyway, I'm going to take some offers on some works tonight. One of my personal favorites is right here. The Admirer. BC 2956. And I got other art. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to play a docudrama, even though I like them um, uh, so much. I'm not. Look at this. It's called Admirer. It's oil on board. It's 30 by 24. It's a perfect painting. He splits the thoughts. Look at those eyes. Look at the hand gestures. Look at the eye of the admirer. Look at the house. The admirer is thinking about a house or I don't know what he's thinking about, but that's what Oleg does. Every geometrical shape. This is a part. This is like my favorite medium size Oleg I've seen in so long. Yeah. Tell you what. I got a special price on this. All you got to do is call me. Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. I can't even say it. It's so cheap, Ashley. Ashley. Ashley's not here. I called Patty Ashley. Uh oh, 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 no. Wilson, raise the camera. Oh, no. That's a hundred lashing. Put the whip away, Patty. All right. That's a cool switchblade, you. Whoa. Yeah. Boy, you're fast with that knife, too. Uh, no, Ashley's at home working. Uh, so you might talk to her when you call the number. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a great deal on this. I just want to show you some, and I want to move some. And I think with Oleg... He is one of the greatest artists I've ever seen. There's nothing he can't paint. Tell you what, here I'm going to make somebody so happy with this one right here. He 
hidden desires. Two nine five seven. Hidden desires is what makes and has made Ole great. He was the best selling artist the company Collector's Editions ever had. He would sell, Collector's Editions would take a painting like this and put it up for 400000 I mean, he, Oleg Javetin, is remarkable with his color theory. Now, what makes this, this lady, no facial inspection, no facial expression at all. This one, look at the blue eyes, but she's looking at this lady with no expression, but she's got, he's got a face and a face. Is there something two-faced going on here? Is, is there an emotion that she wants to express? That's what Oleg puts in his painting, and it changes every time you look at it. Now, this is not going to be, this is 21 by 24 and a half. I'll make you, which one was he interested in? Call me. Tell you what. Let me show you one more. And then I'm going to give you, this is a banjo player. Yeah, I'm talking the banjo player from Burt Reynolds' film. You remember that? Yeah, what was the name of that? Uh, Deliverance. I'm, I like Burt Reynolds. He talked to me several times. He bought art for me, and we would deliver it to him. This is Banjo Player 2951. It's oil on canvas. It is 32 and a half by 44. Now, tell you what, oh, look at that. Look at the circle he makes around the painting. Look at that. Every geometrical shape you can think of. Look at the eyes, the, high, the hand gesture. Look at this. Signed Oleg Javetin on the front. Signed Oleg Javetin, banjo player, oil on canvas on the back. It's like a $100,000 painting. Or what do I have up there? 120? What does it say? Yeah, that's going to say. This is a big one. Patty, this would be a steal at nine grand. This would be a steal at 9,000. Call me. Make me some offers. I am only going to spend, I got Jimmy coming up with some coins. I got some great paintings. Tell me which one you like. I am so easy. Yes, Wilson, we're going to put me under a street light with Wilson. Oh, I'm not supposed to joke about that anymore. Yeah, I'm, put me under a street lamp by myself, Patty. Yeah, you're right. I'd be there for days, weeks, months. Call me up. Make me some offers. I'm going to sell an Oleg so quickly, and I'll tell you, Oh, I got a special price, Patty, on this one, Hidden Desires. I got, that's, that's one of my favorite, one of the best smaller Oleg's I've ever seen. Call the phone bank. I got a price so cheap in mind, it will knock your socks off, but I need you to call. I'm talking about off the air sales right now. Give me a call. I can feel it just like Kreskin. <sighs> Don't make me make the phone ring, Patty. You know that takes a lot. You want me to make the phone ring? All right. Hang on. Oh, this hurts. Jimmy, don't try this at home, Jimmy. Whatever you do, don't try this at home. You're skinny. I'm not. I got, I got some... 
I got some cells I can make this happen. I, which painting do you want me to sell? Well, I'll, I'm not even going to tell you. I know which one's going to sell. I am going to make that phone ring, and whoever's calling is going to buy a piece, but it takes a lot of focus. All right, give it, give it 45 seconds because it's got to go to outer space. I put a lot of magnetism on that. And if that don't work, I, I, I give up because that, that, if you don't own an Oleg, this might be your last chance to ever get one. I have other art. I have Michael Schofields. I got Peter Max's, Gregory Wilhelmy. Call me on any of them. And Patty, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you my, my bottom doll price on my favorite one that I think was one of the best ones he ever did. I, Patty, I am going to mouth you the price. So you keep the painting up here. Are you ready for this, Patty? Yeah. Yes! Wow. That's a wow! Yes! And this is one of my favorite paintings. Look how it becomes a plane, a circle, everything all he put in it. And I can move on. I just wanted to show you this. And, uh,. See, it worked. Whew. Which one? Matt, that, 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 I'm famished after doing that, Matt. Oh, uh, yeah, tell me which one. I'm going to make it happen. I have too many red blood cells. No, I really do. Uh. No? Okay. Well, I'm going to move some of these over, and I thank you. I'm going to show you. Peter Max, tell you what, this is one of my favorite too. It's called Eve and the Apple, 2954. Did you read the Bible? Patty? I used to. Used to. Yeah. Well, tell Eve what to do here. Uh, no, you got to be you got to be firm with this. Wilson, tell Eve what to do. Don't touch that apple, Eve. Don't pull that apple off the tree and hand it to Adam. Don't tempt Adam with that apple, Eve. It's called Eve and the apple. Don't do it. Oh, Giuliani, stop reaching. Giuliani's reaching for it in here. He's going, give me the apple. No, Giuliani, no. Yeah, look at this. Anyway, this is an amazing Oleg. And I have done an awful job of explaining why a man with a master's degree from the Surikov, who is one of the leading artists in Russian romanticism to this day, Two nine five four. Call me up. I got a price in mind, Patty. Patty, this is uh, cheap, and I like this one. Don't get me to say that joke. I'm not saying the Groucho Marx joke. Don't do it. Don't do it. I can't do it. 
If you buy it, I'll tell you the, the joke. It'd get me in trouble. And all right, I'm going to move this one along. What would you do? Would you, uh, I don't know what to do. I have some of the greatest. Look at this man. Master graduate of the Surikov. So important they want him to give commencement address. And he has an American passport. He got his, and he, he's always proud of this. He, he said, I came over here on an E-4 visa. I had to learn American history. I had to learn Ameri uh, English. I did not speak English. And this painting behind him is the Three Graces. There's one or two. No, that's a different one. Never mind. But that's a very important painting. Look at the face in the face. Adam is thinking. What is she thinking, Patty? Because she's reaching for the apple. The only thing they said, don't touch the apple. That's what happened in this scene. Wilson, don't touch the apple. And, and Eve is reaching for it, but she's got a face in a face. What's Eve going to do with that apple, Patty? You think she ate it? She ate the apple? Then everybody said, don't touch that apple, and she's... Don't play with that apple, Eve. Okay. And I have a price so cheap on this, Patty, but they're not interested in Oleg's right now. And Matt says I probably shouldn't run a docudrama and Matt's boss, so I'm not. Well, right here, I'm grabbing the different artist. Now, this is Peter Max, probably one of the greatest, the greatest pop artist of all time. Here, I, oh, I got to put this on the easel. Should I put this on? Yeah, I can put this on the easel. It has the Peter Max registration number on the back. That registration number will lead to a picture. Put it on the floor. Well, and once we put it on the floor, look at this. This is a unique, one-of-a-kind original, acrylic on paper, done by Peter Max. Yeah. He painted this 14 years ago. And it's item number, State of the World Forum. I don't have the item number. This is the last, I was told by the Peter Max company, this is the last unique original for the state of the world form. 29 what? 2905. 2905. It's a big piece. Now folks, I am going to work a deal on this you're not going to believe. What does it say the retail is, or does it? 115000 Now, Peter Max is 87 now, I believe, 84 or 87. Look at the bottom. This is the Peter Max registration number. That means you give Peter Max graphics that number, 
They might charge you 50 bucks or under. They're going to give you a picture of Peter Max actually signing this particular image. That is an anti-counterfeiting device. Now, folks, this, he did an edition, I believe, of 495 30 years ago that were signed and numbered and it cost you 4500 just for one of 495 now, this is the last archived state of the world forum I was told by Peter Max Graphics. It's the last one they got. And it's up there for 115000 I got a price, Patty. Which one? Uh, is it an Oleg or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're selling my favorite one? So on this one, on this one, I am going to lower it and lower it and lower it. Oh, this is too cheap. It's framed, got the registration number and everything. Oh, this is too cheap. 4800 to open, $200 increments. That is a unique original by Peter Max. And if, yes. I have a quick question. I have a customer online that's just curious about the um, 08. He said, do you know if they collaborate, like, have they have the same kind of, yeah. Who is it? And yeah. Did Ole collaborate yeah. with who? Because they use the same kind of form of painting with the shape. And who would he have collaborated with? Um, Anatol. Krasniansky. Oh, no, Anatol Krasniansky. Yeah. I love Anatol Krasniansky. Um, he, Anatol Krasniansky, is still alive. He's like a hundred and gabillion, but I love Anatol Krasniansky. Yes, he is a great Russian artist. He went to a different uh, part of, of art, but I love his work. I don't think they collaborated, but what Oleg has done is taken so much that he learned at the Surikov, the hardest art college on the planet, and he puts it in each painting. But I love Anatol. I love his work. Oh, yes. And 4600 to open, and you could own. I'll show you a comp on this so you think, hey, that, all right. Yeah, put up the, yes, secret admirer. And this is a great piece. Look at that. And what is so important, well, they all are, look at that eye, the house. Look, the hand gestures, every geometrical shape. It is fantastic is what Oleg does. And this is BC 2956. And I got a price for you. She want a price on this? I'm going to give her a great deal. I got to turn my mic off. It's so cheap. Cheap. And it's worth every penny of it. It is as good as you'll ever get. Oleg Javetin. Master graduate from the Surikov. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, did she see another one? Maybe I could make a package deal with her.
That is the, yeah, that, this is the cat's meow. And uh, if you were going to own an Oleg or two or three, and I have been doing this for 33 years on TV. I had black hair when I started. This is one of the greatest artists I've ever met. I, uh, one night, about 10 years ago, I sold, I sold one called The Three Graces for $27,000 on TV. And this is nicer. This called Golden Wheat is, Golden Wheat is so perfect. What you have going on, yes, and that's gold leaf he puts in it. Look at those. This is not easy to do. That's all putty pattern. He does it all by hand. Now we had this up for 9,000. I lowered it. No, we had it for 12.5 and I lowered it to nine. I got a great price for it too. Oh, I can give her a great, yes. Is this the other one? All right. Oh, and this is the killer of the, this is. This is golden wheat, hence the golden wheat. And on golden wheat, bottom, bottom, bottom. Oh, this hurts. And tell her this is something didn't happen. All right, you tell Jack this didn't happen. All right, hang on. A hundred and fifty thousand, and believe me. Oleg would love to go back. He did a deal about four years ago. Oh, it's stunning. And I'll tell you what, and that's, I'm trying to, that's if they take them both, but I'll, let me work them a deal. Let me work her a deal. This is as good as it will ever get. I have known Oleg for 18, 20 years now. Let's see. 2006, how long ago was 2006? 18 years, yeah. And let me just show you this because people don't believe me. Here is one that I love called Sailor's Heart. Uh, it sold on Art Brokerage For forty-four thousand, Pat. It sold for forty-four thousand on our brokerage in two thousand and yes, in two thousand and eleven. Yes, the admirer. And then Sailor's Heart sold. For, oh, well, I'm a big fat guy. Oh, you know, you're not supposed to go, I know that quickly. You're supposed to go and bury, you're looking a little better. Get out of the way and let me see. Okay. Yeah, we know you're a big fat guy, Barry. <laughs> The point is, two years later, Sailor's Heart sold for ninety-five thousand. It went from forty-four eight to uh, ninety-five thousand. Anyway, it's perfect painting too.
Which one or both is she interested in, Patty? Does she want to make a very... Quick counter offer. All right, I am going to move secret and And I talk with Oleg some of these. He wants to take to the Surikov when he uh, is Masters of Ceremony and graduation. So I thank you. What, is there anything we can do, Patty? Was there a price in mind? Because I got to move. Well, I don't have to move. I'm not going to move without Pretty Boy Floyd. Which one is she most interested in, Patty? Hey, I got, I got to pray. Is she interested? Thank you, but I can't. No. All right. Now, folks, here's what I'm going to do. I want to show you this. Yeah. Let me. Yes, what we're going to do is we're going to, folks, here, let me show you some. I would go with the other one, Patty, the big one. Oleg was telling us how, if, if you can hang on to that for four. Here's a picture of Peter Max about... 15 years ago in his high limit room in Manhattan. In the late 70s, Peter Max got depressed because they closed the Statue of Liberty down. He loved going to the Statue of Liberty. It depressed him so much, he called Lee Iacocca, who had used the Peter Max image with Chrysler, and together, Peter Max and Lee Iacocca raised $331 million to reopen the Statue of Liberty. That, he will always be famous for that. Peter Max, cover of Life magazine. He was actually born in Berlin, Germany in 1937. His parents were smart enough Knowing that it was, and he is, he is German, he is Jewish. Peter Max was his second name. I think his name was Peter Fickelstein. And his parents moved him to Shanghai, the whole family. And it's a good thing they did. He, uh, Peter Max has been the official artist of the Super Bowl. The Grammys, the 2006 U.S. Ten Tennis Open, the World Cup, the New York City Marathon, the Kentucky Derby, I think the Indy 500. He's been the official artist of so many. But just to give you an idea, look at this. Here is Peter Max flag. And this is 12 years ago, $60,700. Here you can get this for 4,500 it's yours. Call me. I'm going to Move along, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I 
This I really like. This is Michael Schofield, BC3015. Was that the one I showed or did I show? How can you show that one? I showed this one? Yeah. Okay. How long is the Michael Schofield doc? Is it like four minutes, seven minutes? Tell you what, right now, without even showing the doc, five hundred dollars. It's yours. Not even gonna be an auction. That used to be four forty five hundred. That is a beautiful Michael Schofield. Five hundred dollars, it's yours. The Michael Schofield, the billion dollar arm and hammer collection. Hi folks, Barry Chapel coming to you live from Hollywood, California, home of Primetime Shopping Network. You're right, Patty, I am fat. No, she said, get your fat belly out of the way. You heard her, Wilson. She said, don't bla bra break the rafter here. You, no, she didn't say that. Uh, no interest in this, okay. Um, tell you what, I got Jimmy coming up in a few minutes or a little bit. In the hopes, because we have so many new people watching us now. Matt, I'm going to do it, Oleg too, just so they see who and why you want to own an Oleg Javetin master graduate of the Surikov. This is only seven, eight minutes long. Give you a lot of history on Oleg Javetin, why I consider him one of the greatest artists. And I've had a lot of artists, a lot of them, like Guillaume Maggiore, I have some of his pieces tonight. Youngest living artist to ever be accepted into the uh, Louvre. I have some of his work. He was born in Casablanca, Morocco. Got all kinds of stuff. But I want you to hear in Oleg's own words why you need to buy an Oleg. And ready now. <laughs> Actually, I live here in the United States about 17 years. Why? Because I was invited to work here. I was invited to work here, and it's a very strange story. People saw my artwork actually on the street when uh, when Soviet Union was strong. It was not allowed any private enterprise. I, I start showing my artworks right in the street. And some entrepreneurs, uh, some American Russian entrepreneurs saw my artwork, they invite me here. They invite me here in, in the United States. And I came here in 1990. I didn't speak any language at all, any English. I had zero dollars in my pockets. And this is why that country is great. I start work and I start have success. My subject matter is very simple, very simple is uh, I paint mostly romantic paintings. I paint appreciations to the good relationship between people. That's it. Most of my paintings, it's a female and male. And male sometimes give her a letter or a flower. She can read the letter or see the beautiful flower. And she can appreciate his honest suggestions to, to her. Very simple. Why I like that? 
I tell you why, because I don't want to produce any negativity. It's already so much negativity in our world, in the movies, in the paintings too, in the music. I try to work in that areas, but I don't want to do it anymore. I tell you why. How many years are going to live? Maybe another 40 years, maybe 30, no more. After all my life I work in, I want to keep some paintings in public. Public going to keep the paintings in their collection as something positive. So people, when they look, they have to have pleasure from, from what they look on. They have to have pleasure. Yes, we have negatives, a, lo a lot of negatives around us. But I believe if we move our attention to more positive, everybody as a society, we're going to have positive. It's simple as this. Uh, through the deep psychology, we as a humans, a lot of us don't have a simple one nature. Everybody, 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 even simple workmen somewhere in the factory, we all have deep psychological difference, differences even inside us. Each person sometimes can have two or three faces. It doesn't mean that person liar or it doesn't mean that person a bad person. No, no, no. It's a sophistication of any human being. Uh, it's a sophistication of our internal psychological depths. It's uh, multidimensional, multidimensional of any human being. Art is uh, one of activities uh, close to the intellectual life of the human beings. Why it's important? I tell you why it's important. Because we are human beings, we are not animals. <laughs> I think the art is the highest expression of human brain in any positions, in literature, music, or visual arts, or mathematics. Mathematics, the high-end mathematics is art too. It's very important because we are human beings. It's just one thing what divides us from the rest of animal kingdoms. If tomorrow human beings decided to save that planet, they can save that planet. If tomorrow human beings decided to destroy that planet, they, they can destroy that planet. The difference, simple lion or simple monkey or chimpanzee, they cannot do that. Uh, but we are, we are humans, we have tremendous power in our hands. And everything belongs to us, to our decision. Art is just one side of all that intellectual powers. That's why it's important. Human beings can have different pleasures. Uh, psychological pleasures, pleasures from music, uh, physical pleasures through touch, pleasures from food pleasures from relationship. And art is another area where people can get huge pleasures, tremendous pleasures, especially if you understand. If you can teach yourself how to appreciate art, you can get a lot of, a lot of pleasures from it. You can see some beautiful painted details or expression on a face or combination of colors or combination of colors and textures. You can have huge pleasure for, for your mind and for your eyes. Enrichment, uh, enrichment pleasure, it's just pleasure. It's why uh, uh, Medici's in the past, in 15th century, they were not stupid. They pay a lot of money to uh, Raphael or to Michelangelo to paint something good, something good. Because we have such a short time live in that world. The longest life is about a hundred years, no more. It's nothing. It's a hundred years. Some people live 50 years, 30. My little brother was killed in a car accident. He died when he was 33. 
very young guy. Uh, we have such a short life to spend that, so my, my philosophy, try and enjoy every minute, everything. Try and enjoy every hour. Don't go into any stressful situation. You don't need to. Try and enjoy, try to make your life happy. Try to make your life happy. That's it, this is my philosophy. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to make a lot of money, it's good. If I don't make a lot of money, I make a little bit money or no money at all, it doesn't matter. I have to paint. I just cannot do anything else. Hope you enjoyed that film I made on Oleg. He's one in a billion. He really is that good. And so if you were on the fence, I hope that moved you over because he's the best. Now somebody called up and asked about Statue of Liberty by Peter Max. This right here is BC. Uh, I have two. I have a Statue of Liberty on canvas. The one on canvas is really, really valuable. I can tell from all the codes. It has a very special registration number, M290048. He painted this in 2008. It is acrylic on canvas. It is the original Peter Max acrylic on canvas and let me find the yes oh thank you thank thank you on the peter max state of the world thank you thank you i have these two one is a mixed medium uh, this is acrylic on canvas and I and Patty, can you hand me that one sheet that's leaning up against your? Yeah, there you go. Here is the cert. This one right here, the Statue of Liberty. This is Morris Shapiro, gallery director for Park West. Uh, he did this in 2006. Uh, and it is for this one down here, this one, mixed medium, uh, it's acrylic on paper, and he appraised this one, well he appraised this 14 years ago for 6,500, 14 years ago, the small one. And that's on paper. This is a unique original on canvas. Now this is the mother load of Peter Max's. The one, and what's in the computer on this one? I'm trying to find the other one. I have to find the other one. Yeah, well it's on canvas. It's called Peace on Earth. Yeah, 2901. Now, this, because it's on canvas, 2901, because it's on canvas, I mean, this was sold on uh, 2012. It was on the Norwegian Cruise Line. Uh, shown December 11, 2012, and they, I can, I can decipher their codes. I got a couple friends of mine that auctioned for the cruise lines. And what does the graphic say when you pull up that item number? What does it show the retail as, Patty? 120,000, yes because this is acrylic on canvas. And you wanna see, 
You, you talk about a registration number. Take a look at that. Look at the bottom there. That is the Peter Max registration number. It, uh, I mean, this is, and they are out of these. I have been getting the last of the archive collections because I got a couple friends I know that work with Max Graphics. Yeah. And what is this in the computer as? Because I, I want to make this go bye bye if I can. But that is Statue of Liberty on canvas. They want to see the mixed media. No, no, it, because right now I'm looking at the back. It says mixed media on canvas. Yes, but that does it. But it's a unique original. It's a unique original mixed medium. All that means when they say mixed medium on canvas is he used acrylic. He might have used a second medium of oil paint there. That's all that means. It's more than just oil and acrylic on canvas. That's why the word mixed medium came in there. Like that, that white there, that arctic white might be a different type of paint. Look at that, he used half a tube up there. And this was what really got Peter Max going. He and Lee Iacocca saved it. And, and Patty, what's my cost in there? Because I want to make somebody happy. This is why this is in there for 120000 Here's what I can do. Tell that customer. Oh, it is, it is beautiful, too. Oh, this is too cheap. Oh. What would you price it at, Patty? Oh. 8200 That's crazy. I had to call in so many favors to get this. 8200 Yeah, that one's paper. This one is canvas. That's a canvas Peter Max. Unique original. And Patty, here is the, on the other one, here's the cert. So, so, can you confirm that the small one is a 2006? The small one is definitely a 2006, according to Morris Shapiro. 2006. Oh, sorry, my bad, Wilson. Two nine eight two. Is that the um, patriotic series? What's that? Patriotic series. Yes. Yeah. Look, you got the flag. That one is mixed media on paper. Too. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, and I got some David Lloyd Glovers. If I don't get to them this week, I'm going to get to them next week. But I got some more Oligs. What are they saying, Patty? They wanted to see it, and they're going to call back. They want to see what now? They wanted to see it, and they're going to call back. Oh, okay. Uh, I am going to take this canvas original Peter Max down and I'm going to hand it to somebody. I'll tell you what. I have a Gregory Wilhelmy here that is. Folks, 
Uh, can you grab this one? Oh, okay. I just don't know if after America's most wanted of Giuliani. They found out. They're still looking for Romeo, Juliet. Your name is Gladys tonight. This right here, it's probably too high up. Is it too high up, Wilson? All right, I'm going to give somebody a deal. They, I only give deals. That's just the secret to being on TV for 33 years. If I can make it to June 21st, Patty, uh -huh. probably the worst night to ever go on TV, the longest day of the summer I started. It's like I didn't know anything. I will be starting my 34th year. Look at this carnation. She's playing the flute. This is a perfect Oleg. This is as good as Oleg ever gets. 46 by 32, the flute. And it says mixed media on canvas. That doesn't mean, a lot of people, they've changed the terminology. This is a one-of-a-kind original. The only one Oleg has ever painted like this. Is that a carnation? Look, he's looking at her. The flute, every geometrical shape. And these are going, what's that, 95,000 retail? And he gets it in Russia. He just doesn't like to go back. He doesn't mind, but he's just... That COVID thing really messed him up, Wilson. He had to hitchhike from Moscow to um, somewhere in Poland and then catch a flight. It was... I'll get the story straight next week. Tell you what I can do on this. All right, this is large too, Patty. Yeah. All right, you didn't see this. I'm going to fling my coat like this, Jimmy. No, I'm not a streaker, Jimmy. I just want her to see the price. On this. Now, I have just given Patty a price on the flute player. This is so cheap, I cannot say it on TV. If you have watched me over the last 33 years, I started out as Bargain Berry. And uh, then I worked at Bargain Berry at Panda America. Then I was Bargain Berry. I even did shows from a Seattle uh, network, a news network. And I would play with all their news stuff. But anyway, been doing this for a long time. I just gave Patty a price on this. If you have, it's not 100,000, it's not 50, 40, 30, it's not 20, it's not even 10, 9, or 8. If you should call Patty, if you don't own an Oleg yet, buy this one. This is, this, I price this at a third of what I should have priced it for. Because Jimmy's itching to come up for a little bit of time, then I'll come back up. I don't know, but you, what, what do you want me to do? Oh, I'm standing in front of the light. You're agreeing with Patty. I'm too fat. I'm so fat. All right, Wilson, watch this. Come over here. Watch this, Wilson. The beach is that way, Wilson. If you want a deal, this is it. And Patty, whisper that number when they ask how much this one is. Because it should be a lot more. It's going to sell at that price. You got to whisper the price. Yeah, whisper it. Yes. I'm talking. What's his name? Homer from Oklahoma. Homer. Homer from Mr. from Oklahoma. Thank you, Homer. So I just gave Patty a price. 
If you're remotely curious, this guy's going the distance. He's already a uh, master graduate of the Surikov. Once collector's editions, uh, once they didn't renew him, he got on the phone and sold 10 paintings, Jimmy, for $100,000 each by himself. Yeah, and this has got every trademark of a great Ola. You got every geometrical shape. You got the eye gestures, the hand gestures. So I gave a great price on this. And tell you what, I'm going to offer Well, I'm gonna move this over. Jimmy, you want to come up, or you want you want some more time? It's up to you. Hey, here. Oh, here's one right here. I got one more. And Oleg, this could be the one of the great Olegs. But I got to show this. Patty, can I hand you? Oh, let me hand this to Juliana. Now, my father died about a year and a half ago. He had, and Wilson, this is this is classic. My dad. He had a painting in his office. It say what? one okay give me one second take a look at this and keep on line for 10 seconds Wilson my dad had a painting in his office done by Gabor Petterdy and people he would never hang it on his wall and people said why do you never hang out on his wall he says it's a little depressing he says do you ever hang it on his wall and my dad looked at him and said yeah when I get too happy this might be a painting that you hang on the wall if you ever get too happy. It's beautiful, but I'm walking over here to talk to Patty here. All right, so if you have a propensity to get too happy by this painting, this is actually one of Oleg's best. You can see the despair holding a house. Look at those eye gestures. All of this yellow adds to the effect. And Oleg said, I spent so much time on this because I'm making a scene, a winter scene here. And it is called Appreciation. And I think they're, is that the right? No, yeah. It is stunning. It is huge. Look how he cuts across the hand gesture. Look at the house, the box she's holding. Look at the hands. About 12 years ago, I was in Santa Monica with Oleg, and I said, so you, once you got the theme, you just paint the hand. Was, just paint hand. Then he puts out his head. Do you know how many directions? Hand move. How many different directions do you think two fingers could move, Barry? Do you know? I said, Oleg, I'm sorry. I don't just paint hand. I took anatomy. It's OK. So uh, I'll tell you what, call me on this. This is a larger Oleg. This is 48 by 36. Oh, I got a Patty, if they're interested in this.
Thank you. And who bought that? Thank you, Mr. C. Thank you. Now, on this one right here. Call me. I got a, I got a special, pr I actually, even though it is a rather depressing. Now, like if you're the person in New Jersey that just hit the mega million for a billion, you're gonna be too happy for months and years. Buy something, no, this, but look at it. Look into their eyes. It's the eyes of a Madonna here, Wilson. Look into this lady's eyes and let me straighten the eyes so it goes right at you. Ghostly, haunting. Like a Joplin piano melody, it's just, haunting and then you look at these eyes every geometrical shape heavy 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 use of oil right here now patty someone's gonna buy this i'm gonna give you a heck of a deal The Peter Max is gone. And the um, Oleg. And the Oleg. Oh, he bought two paintings. Thank you, Patty. Which Oleg did he buy? Uh, the one that you gave me that ridiculous offer, the one that you told me. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Mr. C. So. Patty, do you ever feel too happy? I'm never too happy. You can Jimmy, are you too, too happy? happy? Yeah. You're too happy all the time, aren't you? Never yes. Happy. You need a painting like this to bring. Yeah. <laughs> well, <I know. laughs> anyway, this is a very, as much as I'm joking around, the amount of emotion Oleg shows. This is what you would have seen in 1916, 1924 Russia. Yeah, you know, then there's a fam famine on. All right, I'm going to move along. And Jimmy, do you ever ride your motorcycle anymore? All the time. All the time? You put the training wheels back on. <laughs> you put the training wheels back on. Oh, you rode it for a little while without them. This is a museum artist. And you, when you're ready, just let me know, because I'm going to... Eh. This right here is Afternoon at the Wheel, 2018. This is Gregory Wilhelmy. I call Gregory Wilhelmy my cowboy artist. He was born in Roundup, Montana. Here is a picture. Gregory Wilhelmy doing a show, um, I think, at the uh, Nicolaisen Art Museum, The Long Road of the Northern Plains. Gregory Wilhelmy loves to paint what he calls the underbelly. Here was commissioned by Billings, Montana in the summer of 2002 that's like the road runner here. Look at that. That's how tall. Gregory's a tall guy. He's painting that on the side of a building. Jimmy, you think anybody got in an accident? They're driving along and they think the road splits? Yeah, right there. So this right here, Gregory likes the underbelly. He likes to show what happens when a big company moves into your town and then 10 years later they leave. You know, and that was a part of his matter of time where, you know, there was a lot with all these broken washing machines. That's what Gregory does. And he does it better than anybody on the planet. This right here, he painted in 2018. 
The western wheel on the south side of Billings was a local rally point for bikers. This, the colorful landmark had a reputation and after many years it closed down. Bikers and beer on a hot summer day. I did this painting in memory of the rowdy time and place. He painted this in 2018. Now, do you have the item number on this? What? It is called Afternoon at the Wheel. What? 298. 2988. 2988. Yes. Now, look at that. He just puts the crowd in. He's showing you the place that's no longer there because it got too rowdy. Bikers and beer on hot summer days. What could go wrong with that idea? My mic's on. I see what happened. Yes, my mic dropped. Good call, Matt. Now, Gregory Wilhelmy is an actual museum artist. We sold a very good customer this painting the other day. He painted this on the side of a building, and that's Gregory Wilhelmy on a way up ladder to paint that, that herd of uh, cows or bulls, obviously bulls. This right here is a museum painting. Here was one he does shows at the CM Russell sometimes, but here's one he sold 10 year best in show. Uh, in Gillette, Wyoming, sold for 7000 and that was a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry, 2023, never mind. So here's what I can do on this. Make someone have, this is history. This is Gregory Wilhelmy history. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. Retail, if it was up to me, if I, if, if I had to guess, look at all the shows Gregory Wilhelmy has done. Uh, this was one of his best shows, The Long Road, The Pulse of Things, showing how all these places no longer... Uh, once the mine closes, tell you what, here's what I can do. Retail's probably uh, 35, is that what it says, 35,000? Yeah. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give someone a deal of a lifetime. 2,500 to open, $250 increments. You have a museum artist, a guy that does shows at the Nicolaisel. Art Museum at the Cheyenne Art Museum at the, look at all these museum showings. It's a beautiful painting. Folks, get me close. I'm going to show you one other Gregory Wilhelmy. And, okay. I know where it is. 
All right, now you might see a big head in your screen. That's because I'm walking past the camera. All right, hang on. Oh my goodness. I forgot this one. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll get some more Wilhelmies in a second. But Patty, I didn't show this one. Yeah. Be careful, those bikes can be hot after you ride them. I, I would know. I would know. I got a scar right here. Because, uh, never mind. It happened when I was 14. This is called House Gift. 2955. Now look at this. This is still available, right? Yeah. House gift. Well, look at the little house. Look at this guy looking at her. She's holding a house that he is. They're basically saying we should build a household together. And look at those eyes. The house there. All the geometrical shapes. 2955. What's the retail? 40,000? Yeah, here's what I can do. Oh, look at that. If you know somebody getting married, are you just like Oleg? Are you going to buy a house? Tell you what I'm going to do. This is too cheap, Patty. gave Patty a price so cheap that I'm going to have to blame it on Jimmy to Jack. Now, Wilson, I need you as a witness. You saw Jimmy yell that price to Patty, and I objected. All right? Why would you do that, Gerstel? Call Patty, because I just gave a price so cheap, eh, you won't believe it. And this is a beautiful Oleg. Give us a call on that. Have you ever been shot with a stun gun, Jimmy? Many times. Really? No, no, a taser. Taser. Have you been tasered? Oh, uh, Does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> so if I paid you, say, a hundred dollars, could I taser you on TV? Two hundred? Name your price. I know there's some risk. I know you got a bad heart. Well, there'll be a waiver. You'll sign it. How much? <laughs> All right, 150 bucks. I'm gonna bring the, I'm gonna bring the taser in. Call us on this now. Um, here's what I am gonna do. Um, oh, five more than Jimmy's up here. I'll tell you what. Here's what I want to do. Is there anybody watching named Sam? Like Sam, I am. This was painted uh, in 22 by Michael Schofield. And he is one of the most famous landscape artists of all time. He is uh, born in uh, Tennessee, moved around everywhere, but. I'll tell you what, if there's a guy that owns a Sam's Garage, Sam's Auto, the odds of you finding another Michael Schofield where he painted it to Sam's Auto is probably near bleak, you know? Tell you what, 500 to open, that is an original watercolor 
by Michael Schofield. And if you know someone named Sam, you're going, I got to get Sam a Christmas gift. You will never get another chance at Sam's Auto. That is an original Michael Schofield. He's in the billion dollar, with a B, billion dollar Arm & Hammer art collection. He's in the Library of Congress collection, the Smithsonian collection. He's in the Opryland USA collection. And this is a Michael Schofield, $500 to open. What did I do with my own? Oh, I know. Is that my Diet Mountain Dew over there? I thought, nah, it's all right. I can make it. They want to buy it? Open it? All right. My hand. There it is. That's where I hid my other Mountain Dew. No, I'm sorry, Wilson. It's right. <laughs> I knew I had opened one, and I was going to guzzle it down, so I hid it right over here. Jimmy, you didn't put anything in my open Mountain Dew, did you? Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> this is still available, 500 bucks to open. And folks, I got a lot of other stuff coming up, so does Jimmy. I'm going to bob and weave in between. All right, Gerstel, only because I met him and he was so kind to me. How is Mike Tyson going to do in the cage fight? Okay, so let's move this out of the way. At 500 bucks, that would have been a heck of a deal. All right, and any last, call me on the Oligs. Um, biggest surprise, this one, and what I had it up for, Hidden Desires, that should have gone. And I'm going to be doing, while Jimmy's doing stuff, I might pop my head in. Is that all right with you, Jimmy? Definitely not. What's that? <laughs> I said definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, are you ready? Uh, well, folks. Yeah, we're still here. While, while you're watching the coin show, if there's a piece of art, this should have sold. I got a price on this. This is 2957 It is my secret desire to own this piece. This is a perfect Oleg. And the good news is it's only 21 by 24 and a half inches. It's a smaller Oleg, and it is one of the greatest perfect pieces. And I have a price so cheap on this, you got to call Patty. And I'm going to make them a deal they won't believe. Okay, and I also have a happy family here, Jimmy. Did you come from a happy family? Well, I, I, would, I would count that, Jimmy. Once they unchanged, <laughs> unchanged you, you know, and your your leg healed. You could, you know. Mm -hmm. This is called Happy Family by Oleg. Oh, I'm only worried for the little baby there because he's a redheaded stepchild. I'm joking. This is an amazing Oleg Javetin BC two nine five zero 
Call me. Make me some offers. <laughs> is actually, as much as I joke around, this one right here with all the embroidering he did, this with the face in a face, this is Eve and the apple. Hang on, I'm moving this one away. I'm putting Eve and the apple up right there. This is 24 by 18, 2954. It is a cool piece. Yes, we got a lot of stuff coming up, so. Okay. Now, folks, I in a few minutes, I'm going to turn it over to Jimmy for a little while. Let me go to camera two, Matt. Uh, what's that? Okay. Before you go to Jimmy. Okay. Before we go to Jimmy, I'm going to be in the studio all night. So just if you saw something you like, call me. We'll talk, we'll make, maybe we can work a deal. And I want to thank you. These Oleg's are gold, they really are. He's one of the greatest artists I ever met. And the Peter Max, thank you from those. Uh, Michael Schofields, I have them. I got them so cheap, it's unbelievable. But what I am going to do is, uh, and if you need anything, call me. I have some Oleg's left. I have some Azulay that I can get up. Got some Wilhelmies. Is Jimmy ready? Oh, I'm around. I'm going to pop my head on that studio. Wilson, you might have to hold him back. Hey, I want to thank you. Call me if you need anything. Take a look at Jimmy and his coal, coins. Hey, looks like we're live. All right. Guys, we're getting right into the coin show. Hey, you know what? There, Barry's hanging around all night. There are a lot of people interested in the All Eggs and, uh, and the other art up there. So, keep calling on the art. Item you're looking at right now is item number... The item you're looking at right now, or will be shortly, is 50-50... So that means you have a 50-50 chance of seeing it. Hey, welcome to the show, you guys. It's live here, and I got to tell you, we take requests, uh, compliments. We don't take criticism too well, but go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, and I, I, bought, I got a bunch of gold coins, and we're going to bring some up. So that coin that you're looking at right there, Wilson, is not the coin. We're going to go up to the certified one. 50-50. It's a $20 gold saint, one of the most famous coins because it's an 08 from Philadelphia. No motto in a mint state 63. And I'll tell you what, we have a, we have a wholesale trading network that we're uh, connected to. And I just was on it and I see right now there is a Mint State 63 NGC graded $20 gold St. Gaudens. St. Gaudens. Same grading service, same grade. This is a really nice coin, by the way. They have it up right now. 
at $3,850, $3,850. That's where I'm pricing this coin because that's what it would cost me today to replace this $20 double eagle. This is the coin that brought the motto back on United States gold. It's kind of a long story, but to tell it briefly, the motto in God we trust was omitted for the first striking of the St. Gaudens, 1907 and into 1908. And then, public outcry, in God we trust was returned later on in the year, in 1908. One of the most popular coins in all the world is a 1908 $20 gold double eagle, no motto. So I hope you guys can see me. I can't see myself, but that's all right. Hey, this is radio, isn't it? We do this show on the radio all the time. $3,850. How about you guys? You guys have it on your monitors, right? We're good. Three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. Hey, that is. Look at that coin. That is. Now look, for the grade, for any grade, the coin has blast luster. It's just boom. It is really a nice specimen. What do you think, Wilson? People ready for the reverse side? No motto, saint. See where the sun is rising there at the bottom of the coin? That's where the motto would go if this was uh, a motto saint, but it isn't. It's a no motto, $3,850. And then I, we, brought, oh, we brought a lot of gold tonight to the show. There you go. A herring too much. Do you mean you say a rabbit? <laughs> the next one is 5053. This is a 1901 $20 gold Liberty, the predecessor to the uh, St. Gaudens. And I don't mind listening to offers, guys. I want you guys to interact with the show. So please, if you have anything to say, you know, mostly complimentary. Wouldn't you appreciate that? And this coin right here is item number 5053. 5053. That coin that you're looking at right now, the 1901, that coin is about uncirculated. It struck at San Francisco, $2,923. I know that sounds wacky, but I got to get that. I got, that's that $23 that makes or breaks me. $2,923. That coin that you're looking at right now is almost uncirculated or about uncirculated. You'll notice it has a lot of luster. All the hair detail is there. Let's take a look at the reverse of the coin. San Francisco struck, a lot of luster. Might be a little too glary for you there, Wilson. $2,923. So I got to open up this night, this part of the night, with a quick sale. I got a lot of certified gold. I got a lot of gold that is not certified. Obviously, this is one of them. $2,923, or you tell me, or tell the operators and they'll relay it to me. Next up, just want to show you guys what I brought tonight, a lot of gold. Here's a certified St. Gaudens, here's a 1927, item number 5051.
certified in a mint state 6-3, item number 5051. $3,500, $3,500. I've been a coin dealer for quite a long time, a coin collector for even longer. I'm in the market every day. See if I can get rid of that little bit of... Coin looks really nice. $3,500, I want to hear from everybody out there. Hey, it's a free call. How long has it been since you could brag about that? What's the point, right? Everybody gets a free call. It used to be a big deal, right? Well, when they arrest you, they either give you yeah. A free no, they don't. You would think they do, right? They don't. You're wrong. Yeah, no, they don't. Three thousand five hundred. And I'm going to switch gears a little bit here. Just going to have some fun. Five zero six one. We've got to take a little break from gold once in a while. Coming up next is 5061. These are 1943S Min State 65 Jefferson War Nickels. We're going to put one here. Now, what's unusual about this coin is it's silver. During World War II, nickel was a major component for the war effort. Nickel was removed from the nickel. And silver was substituted. So it's the only time in the history of the world from 1942 to 1945 when nickels had silver in them. And this is one. It's a 1943S. And I'll tell you how you can tell when you look at the mint, the Monticello, Jefferson's home, that big gigantic mint mark, that S mint mark, that indicates that this is one of the silver nickels. $69. $69. Or, hey, if you want to have some fun, you want to interact, make an offer. I, have, I actually have two of these. The other one is also a 6.5, both PCGS graded. $69 each. Or if you want to make a package deal, they're both 1943 S's. Both are item number 5061. $69. We're going to have Silver Eagles on the show tonight. This is a fresh deal of Silver Eagles. I don't even know what the item is. It's they're so fresh. Yeah, uh, Jefferson is lying down on the job. Look at that. All right. $69. Can you get a shot of those, you think, Wilson? This is a roll. Now I'm going to supply the date for you guys. There you go. These are fresh as a daisy. We're doing them by the roll. I've got dates like 2012s, no 2015s that I can recall in this deal. And I still have about 3,000 Silver Eagles left. We started last week with over 4,000. I think it was about 4,300 Silver Eagles. We're down to 3,000. We're doing them by the roll. It's a fresh roll of 20. What does fresh mean? It means that they've never been to the grading service yet. It means they haven't been rejected. That means there are, when the perfect coins, the mint state 70s are graded, they become $200, $250 coins. They are selected from a mint Fresh roll. You get the tube, the Treasury Department tube that goes with it. That's what they came out of. So here's the deal on these. $721. And I need that dollar. I'm telling you, 
That dollar is really important. $721, that's $36.05 a coin. 3605. That's a quantity price for 20 coins. All fresh as a daisy, never rejected from a grading service, never been to a grading service. We bought a deal of over 4,000 silver eagles from one party, from an estate. And we got all of them, and they're all as nice as the day they were struck. These happen to be 2012s. If you buy this roll, you will get this roll. $721. Excuse the hand. We're going to be moving a little quickly here. $721 for the roll of 20. Fresh as a daisy coins. Next up. 50-60. Please call in because Barry is on a roll here. He is satisfying customers from coast to coast. It's not easy to do. A lot of airline miles, you know. They change colors. $721 to the roll. Item number 5060. Old holder. These date back from 89 to 90. This is one of the early generation PCGS holders. Does have a little toning here and there. It is an original coin. Yeah, you can get a shot of the label when you get a chance there if you can, Wilson. Min State 63, 1926, struck at Dender. Dender, really? That is, it's an amazing place. Uh, you might get there someday. Struck at Denver. Uh, this is a standing Liberty Quarter designed by Herman McNeil, one of the great sculptors of the Renaissance of American redesign. $750. $750. This is a, over a 30-year-old holder. Overs and reverse designed by Herman McNeil. Not a mint employee. Commissioned Outside of the Mint, one of the greatest sculptors of his time, a protege of Augusta St. Gaudens, a pupil. $750. I want to give you guys a good look at all the stuff I brought tonight. We'll get back to gold in a minute. Item number 5059. How's that for a switch? Now, this is an 1895, what's known as a Liberty Nickel, oftentimes known as a V Nickel for the Roman numeral 5. On the reverse, and this has got some really amazing toning. This coin is $650. Now, let me tell you just a quick little bit about this coin. I jotted down some notes. First of all, the mintage of this coin is nearly $10,000,000, 9977822 there have only been certified, since they've been certifying coins at either PCGS or NGC, 272 of these coins certified out of a mintage, certified in Mint State 63, out of a mintage of nearly 10 million. 
It's a, such a low percentage, I, can't, I couldn't even calculate it. It's 0. 0.000272%. 1% would be 99,000 coins graded in a 6.3. There have only been 272. This coin is $650. These are rare. 99.9% .9 of these circulated. They were, you know, from the mid-1800s, or 1870, all the way through to 1940, the nickel was the most widely used U.S. coin. Most of them are worn to the bone. This is a barber design. Struck at Philadelphia. Now on the graphic, we add the P mint mark. On the coin, it doesn't have one. On the label, it doesn't have one because all coins struck at Philadelphia do not carry a mint mark from the classic era. 650. All right, a little more gold. Now... We brought a lot of really nice coins tonight. Oh, here's a here's a neat one. Number five zero five two coming up next. This is a mint condition coin, mint state sixty one. It's an eighteen seventy seven. Right on the cusp, it's a type three. Item number five zero five two. thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars. Twenty nine ninety five. Struck at San Francisco. You can see the S mark at about 6 o'clock there. Really beautiful coin. A lot of, lot of original luster. Now we may have some lines locked up right now because Barry is on the phone with everybody who wants to talk to him. And that's a lot of people. Got his parole officer, the judge. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fair game, right? Hey, you're going to do it to me, right? <laughs> Uncle Sam. $2,995. Have you guys seen the record territory that gold is flirting with and, and surpassing? Coming up next, 5025. Hey, I'd auction some stuff off, guys, if we, do we have any open lines? You're good there, right, I'm good. Patricia? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right. Silver Eagles, we're not going to run out. I think I can help you guys. This coin coming up is a 1910 St. Gaudens, struck at Denver, $2,700. Now, you all know that these coins 
have nearly an ounce of pure gold. So keep that in mind. These are the largest United States coin ever struck gold coin for circulation. This coin is a VFXF, which means it has about 80% of all the detail. You can see her eyes. You can see her nose. Has uh, luster. That's original luster that's left on the coin from the minting process. All the stars are intact. The lines of the, the rays uh, behind the Capitol there, behind Liberty, striding forward. This was from an original design of Augustus St. Gaudens, a sculpture known as the Winged Liberty. And when he designed this coin, he left off the wings, kept the arms. It's always important. 2,700 dollars. Now if you're looking around for gold, what I'm trying to do here price-wise is offer you classic United States gold coins that will rival what you will pay for the modern versions of these coins. Now keep in mind, there's only a finite amount of this classic gold. They don't make it anymore. This coin hasn't been struck since uh, 1933. And I'm removing the 77S. All right, this is a roll of 23 Morgan dollars. Give you the list of them. Hi. All right, guys, this, uh, um, this deal right here, I've let it linger a little bit too long because I've been setting up some other product in the background.
All right. This is a roll. This is item number 5041. Five zero four one. This is a roll of twenty three Morgan dollars. From eighteen seventy nine to nineteen hundred. A lot of twenty three. About uncirculated to uncirculated. The coins you're looking at right there are uncirculated coins. There are some AUs in this roll as well. This roll is one thousand two hundred and ninety five dollars. One thousand two hundred and ninety five dollars. 23 coins. Let me give you a little idea of the dates. You see the date range, but 1879 from Philly, 1879 from San Francisco. Esmonds, 1880, 1881. Philadelphia, 1881. 82, 83, 84. 85s, 86s, 87s, 88s, 89s, 1890s, both Philly and San Francisco. 1896, 1897, 1898 from Philly, 1899 from New Orleans, and 1900 from Philadelphia. The lot of 23, $1,295 for the lot. $56.30 a coin. Look around for coins these days when you get legitimate Morgan dollars that are accurately graded, that are not all cleaned up, not all whizzed up, not all polished. They're hard to get these days. These are natural coins. What I mean by that is they are in the state of preservation that is unaltered. $1,295 for the lot. All right, more gold. Five zero two six, five zero two six coming up next. And we are moving along. And 5026 is coming up next. This is an 1873 Type 2 $20 Gold Liberty. You good with that? Uh, extremely fine grade, numerically graded XF40. Close 3 refers to the 3 in the date of 1873, the space. Uh, open and close, there's two varieties. This is the closed. This coin right here, folks, $2,999. $2,999. This coin is struck at San Francisco. 1873. And 
we are going to move along. Item number 5031. Back to Mint State. Mint Condition Gold. $3,500. This is an uncommon coin. You don't see a lot of 1894s. By the way, let me point out to you, these grades in Mint State, these are not the type of coins where you're going to find them in 68, 67, 6.9 or 70, you won't find, or 6.9 or 6.8. Maybe there's one or two 6.7s that exist. This is a fairly high grade for this coin, 1894. Incidentally, you know, 100 years after this coin, 1994, was when I actually did the very first show with Mr. Chapel in, 18, in 1994. Yes. That's right. Seems like just yesterday, doesn't it? 3,500. Bargain Berry Shopping Network. A little bit of toning. Struck at Philadelphia. $3,500. Really nice coin. Notice the detail on the coin. The hairline, the stars. Look at the field of the coin, the part of the coin that is flat with no design. Pretty nice. I don't see a lot of bagginess. I see very little, as a matter of fact. Very slightly contacted. That was most likely during the striking process because these coins have never circulated. This coin has never circulated. And I only have the one, 3,500. All right, 5050, I've shown you this coin. I'm going to go back to it because I've shown a bit of gold that I have right now. Wow, that is just a stellar, stellar coin. This is the 08 No Motto. Item number is 5050. We had this up for $3,850. If you want to own this coin, give us a call. $3,850. And let me show you the reverse again. Considered the most beautiful coin ever, ever struck. And you might recognize the striding lady from the modern gold eagles. They borrowed that design. Whoops. My apologies. $3,850. All right, I want to hear from a collector out there. You want to own this coin, you got to give me a call right now. I'll tell you what. When you start looking around for high quality classic United States gold, 
You're going to find few coins that are going to equal this one within its grade. It has blast, blast luster. I mean, it just leaps off the coin. Next up, I have a 1903, item number 5054. This is a low mintage, very low mintage. This is probably the lowest mintage of all the gold coins. It's around 200,000, uh, 287,000, which is pretty low. Like this coin right here, the mintage is over 4 million. The thing about these coins, once you start getting into these higher grades and the better quality, they are few and far between because these coins were struck for commerce, struck to be spent. 50-54, right here. Nineteen oh three. let me just straighten that out a little bit for you there, sir. Oh, I got to just get my hands in there. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just, I'm not used to pussyfooting around with them. This is a 1903. Item number 5054. Struck at Philadelphia. Three thousand dollars. It's a better date, lower mintage. And a little reverse action here. Oh boy, Butterfingers over here. That's the reverse of the uh, 1903. 3,000. Or you tell me. Okay. Oh, here's a cool coin. This is 5055. Now you can do it, Matt. This is an 1883. And this coin is struck at San Francisco. It's an 1883 S. This coin is $3,100, 3100 about uncirculated or, for you purists, almost uncirculated, 3100 So let's see what we have now. We have the 1883S, this coin right here. This coin right here is back on its obverse. This is the 1903. Uh, 
All right, so let's do this. Pick which one you want to bid on. Now, this coin right here, this saint, I'm going to remove this coin. And we're going to auction off the 1903, and we're going to throw the 1883 up there. You're bidding on one or the other, or both, if you should, uh, if you should so choose. Thank you very much. And we're going to start these coins at 2775 dollars with $25 bidding increments. $2,775, $25 to advance the bid. Now again, keep in mind, a lot of gold in these coins, nearly one full pure ounce of gold in each one. Both of these coins are about uncirculated or almost uncirculated. There you go. 2775 dollars, 25 dollars to advance the bid. So you can open at less than 2800 bucks. Either, thank you, the 1883S or the 1903P. Either one in almost uncirculated condition. And you know what, Matt, could you put a clock up for me because I don't want to linger too long. I'm going to pick out a couple of more coins. Two minutes will work. I might go shorter than that. Two minutes is an awful long time. Let's see, we don't have much time left in tonight's show, do we? About a half an hour, a little over? And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'd be happy to help you with any of the art items that you saw earlier tonight. So if you've been doing your research, want to call back, we are still taking orders for Oleg's. I see a Peter Max up there. There's Schofields. I have some finger painting that I contributed if you're interested. I mean, truth be told, I did it with a spray can. All right. 5051, once again. Let's see. What, uh, there's, actually, there's a couple of coins I have not shown you yet. Item number 5056. I don't think I showed that coin yet. It's an 1884. 5056. So we got three coins up there now. This 1903 from Philadelphia, this 1883 from San Francisco, and smack dab in the middle is an 1884 5056. From San Francisco, also in about uncirculated condition. So pick which one you want to bid on or bid on all three. $27.75 to open. Hey, and if you want to make an, uh, an offer above that, I will certainly listen. If you don't want to go through the auctioning process. This coin could look a little better in the light. There we go. $2,775 to open. Guys, I can't go lower than that. These coins cost me money. They have nearly an ounce of gold in them. They're really nice. They're original coins. They're beautiful specimens. 
Gold is on a tear. It's uh, at record highs. Thank you, my dear. I can. I, I've kind of sensed that. It's all right. Now we've reached the point. We've got a half an hour left in the show. So. Now's the time to start the frenzy. It always gets crazy in here in the last half an hour. I like dropping by just to watch all the action in the last half an hour. $2,775 to open. There's a 1927 Saint again. We're going to move these coins out. 5051 is this item number. It was $3,500. Just reminding you. $3,500. Or make an offer. You know, Wilson, I'm going to put every coin I brought with me tonight on this display. Silver Eagles are still available. I'm going to move this one out of the way for more gold. A couple of uh, circulated $20 gold libs are going up here. Ask about them. I know you can't see them. That's okay. That's the mystery. They're $20 gold liberties in circulated condition. And I'd be happy to price them for you. I'm going to let the gold do the talking. Give me a call if you want to add a little bit to the conversation. Okay, want to see the 1908 $20 gold saint? Again, 5050 is the item number. I'm going to move this gold out of the way. We do have some interest in this coin going on right now. Thank you for 
the foreign objects entering your screen there, allowing me to do that. Yeah, this is a really, really nice 1908 no motto. This coin was added to the United States series of gold in 1850 as a liberty from the California gold rush. All that gold that was being produced, being mined, led to the double eagle, two $10 gold pieces. All right, we have so little time left in the show, folks. I'm going to sell every one of these coins before I'm out of here tonight. In order to do that, I'm going to need all your participation. So please, if you're within the sound of my voice, and even if you're not, whatever that means, give us a call. $3,850. You know, Wilson, I want to have some fun tonight, and I want to sell some coins. Let's see if we can make them both go together. How's that? You know any good jokes? All right, first caller. Are you ready? Thirty seven hundred dollars. Thirty seven hundred. Or you tell me. I really don't have a lot of wiggle room on this coin. These are being offered right now at $3,850 out there in the real world. That's where I got the price from. $3,700 or you tell me. All right, we're going to move on. The 27 Saint, 5051. I had this coin up at 3,500. First caller, $3,100. 3,100. And can you do me a favor, Patty? Can you keep track of these prices? Because I'm going off script here, right? So. We're going into uncharted territory here. $3,100. 1927 Philadelphia struck $20 gold St. Gaudens. NGC graded. Nice coin. And by the way, there's the motto, in God we trust. $3,100. Or get me close. Let's have a two-minute clock, Matt, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to show all these coins at crazy prices. $3,100 for the 27P. Remember the item number. $50,51. This coin right here, this is a valuable coin. It's worn. It's an XF. It's an 1873 from San Francisco. Close three, the item number is 5026. You can keep the clock up. Yeah, it was the Silver Eagle that tumbled.
$2,700 on this coin. $2,700. Item number 5031. Hey, don't let the show end without getting an offer in. 5031. 1894 Mint State. $20 Gold Liberty, $3,500. Thirty-one hundred bucks. First caller. I suppose it could be the second caller. Three thousand one hundred. Mint State, Mint State 61, 1894 from Philadelphia. Nearly an ounce of pure gold in these coins. And in case you don't know it, gold has topped $2,200 an ounce. And these are classic American coins which have always brought a premium well over the gold price. It just so happens that we are working really, really tight on these coins. Thank you very much for the compliment. Best values anywhere on rare coins. $3,100. Now I had two circulated Libs. One was item number 5035, and the other one, the 1899, you guys haven't seen that coin yet, is item number 5057. Either coin, $2,375. That's right, $2,375 to open. We're going to auction off these coins. They're both 1899s. Uh, $25. $2,375 to open. Pick which one, not both, an 1899P and an 1899P. They're both in circulated condition. Opens at 23.75. One minute on the clock. I need your participation, collectors. After all, I want to come back next week. $2,375, or you tell me. That is rock, 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 rock bottom. You're nearly at gold. $2,375. Moving on. I know we got 10 seconds left, but I need that 10 seconds. All right. 5060, Standing Liberty Quarter, had it up at $750. First caller, 600 bucks out the door. Six hundred. How much time? Fifteen minutes. 
Get online. Now is the time to, even if it's the craziest offer in the whole entire world, make it or forever hold your peace. Six hundred for this coin. All right, here's what we're going to do for the last 15 minutes. We're putting up all the gold coins we have. This one, 5031. Time to make your offers. I'll give you a killer deal, but you got to keep it between just us folks, okay? Here, we're going to put this one up here. This one here. Ask which one you want to see. This inventory has got to go bye bye. This 1927, give me a call. 1877S in 6 1. Mint State Coins. Give me a call. Have another one. Fifty fifty two is this item number. Give me a call. Don't miss out. No reasonable offer. I'm really in the mood to take all offers at this stage of the game, guys. Reasonable offers. I want to crowd up the... Uh, Can you get a shot of that, Wilson, you think? If need be? Yeah. Okay. Just want to put them all up there. Give me a call right now. Now's the time to score a deal. Let's see. All the gold coins that are up on the display in certified holders, one, two, three, four, five, six coins. And if you've seen any of the uncertified libs. I've got them over on the side here as well. So remember, we had 1901s, 1903s, 1883s, 1884s, 1877, 1894, those were liberties. 1899s, we had two of those in jewelry grade. We have St. Gaudens, 1908, 1927, Make your offers now. We're down to like 10 minutes left, guys. You don't want to miss out because I'm in a wheeling and dealing mood. That's this coin right here. I would love to be able to do it for you, but I just cannot. And I'm not one to lose a deal for such a small amount of money, but I just can't do it. Actually, I'm giving you guys my best shot. This one right here? Uh, 5052. Five, 
All right, that's one down. That's just clean right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. That's the other one. You know, I made a mistake there, Wilson. This is actually this and this right here. This one and this one right here. Both saints. All right, give me a buzz on these guys before they go. You don't want to miss out. This is a 27 right here, and this is an 08 no motto right here. Both are six threes. I had this coin up for $3,850. Make your offers now. These are two of the best coins I have. This is a really nice coin. This is a really nice coin. This is an 08 no motto, 1927 with motto. This coin right here was up. For $3,500. What was the last on 5051, Patty? $3,500. Thank you. My final offer to you guys on this deal right here. Either one of these coins, either one, $3,000 out the door. Not both, either one, This right here is with motto. It's the 27. This is the 08. No motto. You can see three thousand for either one. Six thousand for both. Don't let the show end without grabbing one of these bargains. 1927 from Philadelphia right here. That's a nice coin. Really nice luster. Beautiful detail. You can even you can see the expression on Liberty's face. She's saying, I'm tired of walking. And this one right here is the 08. Either one is in 6-3. This one right here. Three Gs. $3,000. 50-51. So that is gone, the 27 in 6-3. Yeah, that's less than gold. I wish I could do it. Uh, I put them up at 2375. 2300 is the best. I mean, you're getting them at gold virtually. That's a lot of gold for a little bit of money. And that's for each coin. Yeah, I can't do it under melt. Sorry. I'm going out for business, not out of business. Remember that line? It's obnoxious, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Pardon me? Not. That's the. That's going to be the. 
least expensive at twenty three uh, seventy five or twenty three hundred. The O eight no model three grand. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to go out with a bang on this coin right here because everybody loves 1908 No Motto Saints. $3,000. Also have Silver Eagle still, the roll of Silver Eagle, $721, $36.05 a coin. Rolls of 20, fresh, fresh, fresh. 1926 D, Standing Liberty Quarter, Mid State 63, 600 bucks. This coin right here is $3,000. The price is so low that Matt won't even put it up on the graphic. That's okay. That's all right. Read my lips. 3000 We're running out of time, folks. This coin was originally priced at $3,850. I was offered one today for $3,850. I was offered one. Two minutes. About a minute left in the show. This 08 no motto. The 27 Saint, item number 5051. Yeah, that, that one is gone. This 08 is 5050. That still remains. It's, it's a little bedlamish there in the phone bank. So you got about what, 40 seconds left? This 08 no motto, 5050. We are closing down for the night. You going to hang around on streaming? All right. Well, let's say goodbye to everybody. Okay, this 08 no motto saying is still here. I'm offering it at $3,000. That's nuts, okay? After this, it's going back to $3,850. I want to thank you all for watching uh, Primetime Shopping Network. Uh, my name is Jimmy Gerstel. Happy to be back, and I wish and hope to see you next week. Bye and good luck.